when last we left our team. Um, hmm. Twitch is looking a little weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little confused. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. When last? <laughs> We're, we've got double queens, but yes, while while tech what? is being um, while tech is being figured out, uh, when last we left our brave and mighty heroes, they had taken solace in the tavern in the town, but something had happened. They had been they had undergone an attack of seemingly low strength that brought them outside where they fought a massive wolf-like creature and four of the spore lichens they had seen before wielding flaming bows. There was almost a catastrophe in the tavern when some highly volatile alcohol started to leak towards an open flame. But, thankful to our little rogue, they were able to stop that. Unfortunately, they found out that their protective Orem's skull had been stolen in the aftermath. It is the end of day one of your three days of waiting, so, my brave and mighty adventurers, how does Sundown fight? I say in the most ominous way possible. <laughs> <laughs> Tired. I think Clovis has been uh, sort of pacing the uh, front windows, still a little bit on edge, because as we as we had uh, sort of landed on as a group last session, that force was unexpectedly small, and he's not convinced that there won't be a secondary wave. Hmm. Is there a way up to the roof? Um, no. No, there's not? Okay. No. <clears throat> then I'll just be moving from window to window, peeking out and looking for anything that could be doing the creep up on us. Okay. Uh, Boz will do similar except if anyone anyone who cares to notice would notice that he it is very agitated and he's also put his hand on his neck frequently and kind of I'll I'll notice that I think that makes sense makes sense to me that you would see that yeah um hey uh boss just checking in I, I've, uh, are you all right there's nothing we can do anything about now but it's something i'll be addressing and he just goes back to walking in his very vigilant almost paranoid watching the windows Um, good. Yes. <laughs> I suppose I go back to my, uh, well, I'll, I'll do some, do some more reading. I think Clovis is sort of he's on edge from this uh given everything that's happened to him in in the past uh two days coming out of his uh uh body control uh i so i think he has like a paranoia about him right now but he doesn't really know what he's actually doing so he's kind of he keeps looking over to boz and trying to copy boz's like sort of patrol uh formation uh and mixed in with just sort of like uh peeking out of the windows uh furtively uh paranoid all right um as night or the the darker part 
um, extends. Uh, you see those large creatures, um, similar to the one that tried to smash in the door, patrolling sort of a perimeter, um, but nothing, nothing comes as close, even as the one did the night before, that um, you saw, I think, Bosric, and you saw as well, Bazura. Um, they're kind of just out there. And then after a couple of hours of darkness, you hear um, that sort of like grating howl. And all of you hear this because it's very loud. Um, that. And um, who would be watching, we'll say the south window? You guys can decide amongst yourselves if you're if anyone is there, if everyone is there. Or who would be drawn there by that sound? I, I, would, I would most de definitely be drawn. Yeah, same. Uh, Clovis, you're muted. I've been sort of patrolling uh, Clovis along these bottom two windows, so I, I think he would have just been close enough to, like, hear it. Okay. Um, Zir and Quedon, are you drawn to the windows, or do you kind of give them a wide berth? Uh, I said I was reading. That would have definitely scared me into stopping reading, but I don't know if I would be drawn to the window. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I know that after the attack, we had talked about barring the window since those kegs are, like, magical and mm. can't be moved. So I don't know if maybe that's an effort that has already started or that's like a tomorrow thing. Yeah, that's a good it would, task for me to help. It would have started, yeah. So I'd be helping with that, probably. Okay. Well, then all of you will uh, see um, hmm. after you hear that sort of grating howl. Um, and I think even, Quedon, if you look up, because specifically with Quedon's aversion to lichens, I think that would be something that would startle him. Um you will see the large um, or humanoid one that you saw when you first arrived dragging that giant hammer behind it. And all of the creatures stop what they're doing as it walks. And they do an approximation that um, Quedon, you've probably seen before uh, just from being in the woods. Uh, Bosric, you would have seen this before too. And Missouri, you as well. Clovis and Zier, could you roll me nature checks, please? Clovis, famously good at understanding the wild. Uh, holds true. That's a nine. Great. And a ten. Okay. Um, so you guys just see them kind of like get down in a very weird, like semi bow, but. Boz, Quedon, and Missouri, you recognize this as they're not bowing. They're turning their head to the side and exposing their throat in a submissive gesture as this thing walks by. Uh, as I see that, I'm like, oh, that's not good at all. Nope. Is it heading directly at us, or where is No, it? it's, it's, um, so if this is the door, it's heading, a, like, perpendicular to the door, uh, Closer than they are, but it is not approaching you. It's sort of patrolling. And it's, it's our forward. It, they're not on you. Some sort of wolf prince. And his little his little wolf lords. It's a problem for another day. No, it's close enough. Let's just hope it's not today. It could easily turn around and start some oh, problems. Yeah. Let's hope not. Um can all of you roll perception checks for me? Because it is, it's far enough away that it will be difficult to hear, but it's also large enough and loud enough that if you're listening, you would hear it. Well. All right. Zero's going to hear it. 17. Oh, yeah. 19. All right. Okay. Clovis? Uh, I got 12. Okay. And Quedon. What was the ask? Sorry, what was Perception the ask? Perception, check. please. Aye, aye. It's a... Uh, 16... That's a dirty 20. Okay. So, uh... Clovis, you're just fascinated by this wolf nobility. It just <laughs> shuts down your senses. But the rest of you here... Um... 
patrol the grounds, but move no closer. Master wants them watched, contained, not kill them. They are not your prey. They are hers. Then it continues to walk in that direction. They are whose? Hers? Hers. Hers. More than likely... Does any of the who hates us more? Is it Elizabeth or Seltradot at this point? Seltradot hates us more. The lady in black just looks at us as toys, which could imply ownership. So it could be she wants us unharmed so she can have us, I or thought... it could be Seltradot who wants us dead I at her that... own hand. I thought that Gregor was the one who made the lichens. Or not lichens, wolf things, zombie things. That's what we heard whenever we were talking to the matron, right? Are you asking me or are you asking Azir? I'm asking Azir, sorry. Okay. I thought that's what we heard, but who's to say he doesn't give them out and uh, for different reasons to different people? Hmm keep the peace by uh, spreading the wealth keep them contained keep um, us here this... holding some sort of wolf court at this point lady thane walks up um loading a pair uh loading some shells into her um rifle and she says makes some of the lichens yes but not all of them who hmm. makes the rest They were here before him. Gregor arrived. The thing beneath, huh? Perhaps. Do they look fungal in nature? Do they look like they've been impacted by spores? Um, they look bestial, but they don't look... I mean, they look as affected by spores as the other lichens. They just He kind of looks like a very tall feral man okay like um this person would be slightly taller than leif okay. um and slightly broader than leif as well so just just a big dude sure yeah um but, but there's yeah, nothing that would like... indicate like oh well this comes from the mycelium because it's all fungally no other okay. than the other than the shaggy hair and the very pronounced like teeth there's nothing non-human about it. And also, you know, the fact that it's 12 feet tall. Yeah. Cool. But... Okay. It's a little tall. It's a big boy. Do I know of any existing history between vampires and lichens? Um, They are both supernatural creatures that sometimes work in concert and sometimes work against each other. There is no war politics like Underworld style. But um, they kind of just exist as creatures of darkness. Mm -hmm. um, occasionally, vampires will employ werewolves as guards. Okay. Well, we know it's intelligent ish. Good information, huh? Mm -hmm. Bad information. We're essentially trapped here unless we want to walk into that. But it can potentially well, be tonight, reasoned anyway. with. We're also not much in a hurry to leave. Oh no, no, no. We're waiting anyway. We we do we do have one exit. The tunnels. Hmm. I think I might be more frightened of what's in the tunnels than what's Oh above. certainly. So. <laughs> we got through them once. And they go through them a lot more often. True. Mm -hmm. And, and your fear is well warranted. We don't go down there without great cause, and we don't go down there without lanterns. Mm. To go down there in haste, in far into there. Hiding down there is one thing. Travel via the tunnels without lanterns, without knowing the way. 
I will be divisive. And remind me, did you dig? Were the tunnels dug, or did they just exist here already when you showed up? The tunnels were here when we arrived. Mm. We expanded them, but there was a large underground network when we arrived. Interesting. DM, does it seem like she's trying to hide some information? Roll an inside check. She most certainly hesitated, didn't she? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, that's a 25. Ooh. Um, Love being a wisdom character. She yeah. is not giving you all of the information. Okay. Uh, I don't think Clovis is going to press it. But that's filed away. All right. Um, anything else as the evening goes along, or are you just going to take your rests? I think I'm good to just rest. I think so, too. Enjoy your sleep. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Do I, well, do I still want my pendant? I will keep uh, going to each window and... I think I I made it known to the group that I have it as an item. I think if no one approaches me questioning me about it upon the sleep, then I will continue to keep it for myself. I may dole it out in future, but I I think I'm we're still figuring out how all this works. So one more Okay, one more night of protected sleep. Okay, for now. All right. Can everyone roll wisdom saves for me? Sure. Nat 20. Wow. Nice. 16. Okay. Is this a spell or other magical effect? <laughs> yes. I'm going to oh, ask sure. you every time just to be Thanks sure. Thanks for asking. I might get better than a 16. I did. That's a 24. Okay. Oh, nat 20. Okay. We are protected from our dreams this night. Oh, I, I just realized I was muted. Uh, yeah, no, mine's a nat 1. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay. Um, give me just one second. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't realize in my haste to throw those dice in the trash. Um. <laughs> Shit, I was gonna buy new dice. I forgot to. Man, this is probably gonna be a tough nat one, huh? Oh, I'm pretty yeah. sure it's gonna. Imagine staying awake, not having to sleep, and getting banged in the booty. <laughs> hmm. Hi, um, Coach okay, McGurk. So, so you're um, patrolling all of the windows. Yes. And. Um, you see uh, a woman running out of the woods. And she sees you. She makes eye contact with you through the window. And she reaches a hand out to you. And she says, Masura! Masura! Save me, my son! Save me! And as she screams, you see a figure blast out of her mouth. Um, it looks to be a large red dragon. Okay. But it also has wings on its back. And, and as it runs towards you, it grabs you by the throat and says, you are unworthy of the gifts you have been given. It draws a sword from its back and it stabs you in the chest. You take 18 psychic damage and two points of exhaustion. 
Okay. It's unfortunate, but okay. <laughs> um, I will actually scream out. Okay. You, you all up? hear Missouri scream. Yeah. Um, and you wake up to see Mary lying on the ground as if she had been wounded. Still corporeal, but lying on the ground as if she'd been wounded. And Missouri, I'm assuming clutching your chest where the sword went in yes yeah i think clovis like fully fumbling falls out of bed it gets up what happened what happened <sighs> Missouri, are you uh, 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 she get you too demon St stab me in the chest demon Uh, I'll immediately go over to him. I, I don't know. I don't because I haven't tried to do this before. I don't know how, uh, if at all possible, it is. Do I sense any lingering traces of of magic on Missouri? Yes. Okay. Uh, is there any way to sort of divine their general nature? Um. Not if you don't have detect magic. Okay, fair enough. Reminds me, I need to change out my cleric spells in this long. Um, uh, I think, yeah, um, Close doesn't really know what to do with that. Um, and Mary looks to have also been, like, wounded, correct? Yes. Okay, um... As far as Clovis has experienced, this is, like, the most actual, like, tangible harm that one of these illusions has caused us because he wasn't, like, technically present for Zir getting obliterated. Um, well, and that was also a slightly different situation, too, because mm -hmm. it wasn't a dream. It was for herself. Um, while they're uh, discussing this, I am going to... Um move over to Mary and start checking Mary, see if I can find out what's wrong with her. Um, as you put a hand on her, your hand passes through. Uh, what's wrong with Mary? Uh, and I'm in pain, so I'm actually going to have to focus, and I'm going to start swinging my sensor and focusing... Oh. And I'm going to try to pull her back to uh, being corporeal. Okay. Um, the smoke comes out of Missouri's sensor and starts to, like, sort of flow into Mary. And she sort of stands up quickly and, like, shakes. Like, if you've ever seen a cat that's been startled. Um, she's, like, her back is arched, and she's just looking around furtively. Um, Clovis, because you went to Missouri, you actually notice... One of his eyes looks serpentine now. Ooh. And as he blinks, it goes away. I'm also there, by the way. I don't know if I made that clear, but Zero got up as well. Okay. So you would have you would have seen the uh, the snake eye, cool. the lizard eye as well. But when he blinks again, it goes away almost immediately. Mm. Boz, I don't know that you would have noticed. That's a perception 14. No, nah, not high enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Can I roll a, a perception tick? No, because I don't think that's something you would look for. Okay, fair. I think Clovis doesn't really know what to do in this situation, um, because this is not, hit, like, mending people is not the aspect of, of clerical work that he does. Uh, so I think he's going to go get, like, drag Queden over. I, uh, yeah, I'm... I, it would have been, a, it, I mean, it would have been the kind of thing, I feel like my, my sleep with this thing is so good that it would have been the kind of thing that like woke me up, but like not enough to like be fully aware. So I would have been like drifting back asleep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. While they just walk up, up to you and like shake your arm. Oh. 
good morning. Um, well, problem, come. Uh, Pro and Queen Arun, or uh, Clovis will just walk out the door. While that's <sighs> happening, now that Kapor she's corporeal again, I'm going to say, what happened to you? I can't reach through you. You're either here or not. Our connection was attacked. Something knows. What connection? What makes me me? So whoever's nearby, I'll say, apparently whatever it is is trying to harm Mary. Elizabeth. And you threw her? Most likely. We're connected. I mean, is, so it, pos is it possible that you being hurt Mary, can you absorb each other's pain like that? Um, she can absorb mine in a way. Um, the, if I'm hurt too much, then um, it can hurt her. Um, but she's she's always been gone or here. Um, mm -hmm. She's never uh, been. A, I've never been able both. to reach through her. She's mm -hmm. never been. Yeah, both, both. She's never been both. And like, meanwhile, while I'm saying this, I am just petting her. You might. It might be important for us to learn more about what that whole situation is. If you care to tell everyone, it can wait till the morning, but I think it's time we learn a bit more about Mary if we're going to. If we're going to deal with someone who also knows what she is. Uh, I'll just not waste you. Here's the, the story. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Um, the spores came. Um, I got very sick. Um, coughing, hacking, bleeding out of my mouth. Um, levels of exhaustion to where I could barely move. And then um, I started having nightmares. And... Um, This sounds weird. I got better. Mm. I woke up and I was okay. Um, and I heard a voice and um, and I motioned to Mary and there was one of the voices. And slowly over time, she became more and more powerful. The more powerful I became, the more powerful she became. Hmm. That's that's what I know. I know that something was empowering me and didn't always like what I did. Um, it's been called a couple different things, but I've never gotten the answers. I, I don't know. No. The only person who could have potentially answered some of my questions was Elizabeth because if she was able to calm Mary, then maybe she knew something that I didn't. Maybe she was a slay, a more advanced version, more powerful mm. would have answers. Is that something you want to seek out? Um, I tried to bring it up. Um, Sudley, I didn't want to be very blunt because we all guard our secrets. Um, but we've already all agreed that it would probably be a bad idea. So I I put that away and acquiesced to your plan on how to move forward. Well, but if well, I'm going I'm to sure be... A, I'm sure if you wanted to meet with Elizabeth and ask her questions, she would just show up at the door if you asked. I don't think we want to invite the danger, especially since I was obviously just attacked. Oh, I agree. Um, I just, I just mean that if you want answers, you can probably get them. At what Whenever cost? Like, that'll be part of the question. The problem is, if I'm like her, there's nothing to gain from me, but there's something to gain from all of you, and I'm mm -hmm. not willing to 
sacrifice that. I'm not willing to give your secrets. I'm not willing to give your health or otherwise for my questions. So I'll, I won't ask. Hmm. And I, 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 I speak up. I say like through a half yawn. I say, well, the first step is getting you back up to fighting spirit, your life force here. And I, like, somewhat, somewhat reserved, uh, place a brief hand on your shoulder and give you a second level cure wounds. Uh, 11. Good points. Uh, the damage was, um, like what I do. It was psychic in nature. There's no wound, but I feel better, but... Yes. It sucks, doesn't it? I I'm, hate it. I can't do much about the mental, but... No, it's, it's okay, but, I mean, at, at least for the first time in a long time, I can say, uh, at least now I know what it's like to be tired. I'm exhausted. <laughs> hmm. uh, and I am moving quite slow as I just, uh, I'll clasp uh, Queden on the shoulder just like, like in thanks and just, I'm slowly moving over and I'm just going to sit at the uh, the bar. And I know you don't need rest, but no. are you capable of it? I, I mean, no, it's, I don't need to sleep. I get rest while I'm awake. I, are you Still capable of falling asleep? I can fall asleep, yes. Might be worth it tonight. Give yourself a break. Okay. Okay. And I'm just gonna just slowly walk towards a... Uh, I'm not even gonna go to a room. I'm just gonna go, like, behind a table... Like over here, if I can move my thing, and I'm just gonna like between the wall and the table there, just kind of lay down and just kind of not even looking at Mary who followed me, just be like, "You'll keep watch, right?" And I'll just close my eyes. Mary just nods. Um, whatever uh, spell slot you used for that heal. Queden, uh, just mark that you won't have it the next day because this is after long rest. Yeah. Okay. I've already just, I've make, already just marked making it. sure. I've, I've marked it down. Okay. I was woken up after um, my rest, I believe. All right. Um, the rest of you are able to rest. Uh, it's a bit hard to get back to sleep after that. Um, about an, uh, a few minutes after you go over there, uh, Missouri, to kind of just lay down. Uh, and Mary goes back to watch. Um, Dimitri actually comes out of his room, and he's very sleepy. And he, he doesn't say anything. He just walks over to you, and he puts a little... Um, it looks like a cat made out of, like, sackcloth. And he just kind of puts it in your arms, and then he wanders back into his room. I will not wake up when that happens. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, the next day, um, you all are rested, with the exception of Missouri, who has that two levels of exhaustion. Woohoo! Yeah. So, what do you guys want to do with your fresh day? Uh, yeah, I mean. Assisting with the, uh, with any renovations <laughs> to the, uh, to the windows, um, to the wall. No, I'm sorry. I had to. I was going to say to the walls. <laughs> I was <laughs> going to, I'm glad one of us wall. got there. I won't finish the. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, renovations are going apace. Um. The, the bars seem to be solidly up. Um. When I wake up, I will say I'll see the cat little uh, thing. I, I Have I seen Dimitri with this thing or no? Hmm? Have I seen Dimitri with this cat? Um, yes. 
he had it the first night you got here when he went to sleep and he wanted to stay okay. up and talk to you and his mom made him so, go to bed. All right, so I will uh, seek him out uh, slowly, considering that I move at 15. Uh, <laughs> and Level 2 exhaustion, halves your speed. Yep, I will uh, get down and uh, just thank you. I needed the I needed the friend last night. Thank you. And give it back to him. He just kind of smiles and nods and just hugs it really tight. Is your friend going to be okay? Uh, looking at Mary, how does Mary look? Um, she she seems to be flickering. Uh, I I I hope so. Um, you know, let's concentrate her a little bit more. You and me. Now just picture a kitty. Picture a cat. He closes his eyes and he hugs his little, his stuffy. And I'll just, petting uh, Mary and just, I'll put my forehead to hers and just say, come on, get better, my friend. And I will uh, will her into a tressum. Okay. Um, so she, uh, she takes the tressum form um, that we talked about before, which is a sphinx cat with dragon wings rather yep. than a fluffy cat with angel wings. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll just tell him, open your eyes. He opens his eyes. <gasps> she's so pretty. And he runs over like to hug her. And she like, at first she's like, eh. <laughs> but then uh, he picks her up and she kind of does the picked up cat thing of like, like shoulders yeah. to ears. Just this is fine. Child is holding me. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, that exactly. <laughs> I have kids he's, and a he's cat. Fighting I it. know. <laughs> I have ch- I have children and a cat. I know what this looks like, and um, <laughs> I'll just uh, telepathically say to uh, Mary, "He was very kind to us. Let him have the moment." Um. Mary does the closest approximation you can imagine to rolling her eyes. And then very softly starts to purr. And 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 when I hear the like the purr, I'm just gonna I will purse my lips like, kind of like just like oh you are really you are really doubling down on this okay, <laughs> uh, just uh, not not too tightly, Dimitri. She's not feeling well right now. Before we came here, I had a kitten. She didn't have wings like this, and she was a little fluffier, but Mary is pretty, too. And he gives her, like, a little kiss on her head, and then he puts her down. Uh, yeah. They are interesting wings, aren't they? And I'll reach, I'll reach down and pick Mary up and put her on my shoulder. Um, as you go to reach down, when she realizes what you're doing, she just kind of hops and then one flap of her wings and she's up on your shoulders. Oh, yeah, that's a lot easier. Uh, I need to conserve my energy a little bit today. Uh, and I'll go back into the room after the, interacting with Dimitri a little and check on uh, my well-rested companions. <laughs> um, there's a, a breakfast that's prepared for you. Um a surprisingly hearty breakfast of like eggs and bacon and sausage. And um, as you walk out and you see the plates, um, Amelia says, before you ask, don't ask. You don't want to know. Just eat it. It's good for you. Cool. That I was is going nice. to ask. Now that I is, want to, but I won't. That is the worst introduction to food that I've ever heard. Like it's you I don't agree. just eat it. It's good. Don't ask questions. I agree. I assume Lisa. it's a magical barrels situation. Something like that. Our larder is always filled. Major provides. Clovis starts eating. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's tasty. Uh, it's <laughs> nice. almost as good as the food that Zier made in the matron's uh, chapel, but not quite. Mm-hmm. This is definitely more like rations food. Like this is mm-hmm. like okay, the matron gives you this. Uh, you know. This is your allotted food for the day, not, like, nicely prepared. Uh, 
I'll eat some. I'll uh, attempt to feed some to Mary if she wants some, assuming she's not partially incorporeal at the time and it falls on the floor. Uh. Um, she she doesn't eat. She could. She just doesn't. Uh, no, she I, just kind of like bats at it. Uh, okay. no, I'm saying like specifically right now, she just kind of bats oh, okay. at it. I was about to say, I know, I know I would have fed her in the past, so I'd be like, okay, good. Yeah. And I'll just continue to eat. Kitty, this is a new one. Uh, Demetri gave me a little kitty last night to sleep with, and so oh. I asked Mary to become this to make him happy. Did you? Um, did you ahead. have kids? No. Oh, you're really good with them. In my own way. All of you uh, would have seen Tressums before. They are a relatively common magical creature. Um, they are part they are mildly intelligent and can sometimes speak um, and uh, they are usually employed by thieves uh, Zir, you would definitely know about Tresums. the yeah. gray the uh, gray lady probably had like a rookery of them oh yeah <laughs> I know I'm thrilled that there's a Tresum here I'm like yes <laughs> it looks like a chicken it's scringly. <laughs> This but you do certain... notice this is this is not like any Tressum you've ever seen. <laughs> so this cat why... certainly fits into the room better than the last one did. Yeah, why is it naked? <laughs> what do you mean? Why is it naked? Well, it's not fluffy. Aren't the... well, Tressums are usually like have you furry, right? Yeah, but you've seen what Mara usually becomes a slightly different. Most times, actually, oh. pretty um, gruesome uh, version of the thing she becomes. Just this is actually what? very tame. Why is... Mary, why is that? <laughs> is that something you have control over? Do you just like being dark and mysterious? Uh, Mary kind of just yawns. Yeah, uh, it's the nature of what I am. Mm. I'm a creature born of nightmares, so I'm the nightmare form of whatever I am. Oh. Yeah. Gosh. If we go into danger today, are you going to be okay to help? Yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah, I hate to say it, neither one of us is looking really, you know. Is this in common or Sylvan? Uh, this isn't common. He's just not okay. So I can't. Uh, He's too same, tired same, to give a shit. Uh, <laughs> I say the same for you. You might want to take it easy today. Worthy of note, Boz pr pr was was almost finished by the time they were done having their conversation about don't ask. I I I will take it as easy as is allowed if things get crazy then i don't have time to relax and take it easy i'll do what's required of me i'm tired not useless well based on what we overheard as long as we don't leave today we won't get into any trouble I'm actually going to go to the door open it and look out okay are there any reprisals by angry wolves uh roll a perception check angry wolf redux <laughs> angry wolf 2 electric boot 13 um you see stuff moving in the trees you don't you can't quite clock what it is it's trying to stay hidden I... See something out there, boss. In the trees, which is where I wanted to go. Not far into the trees, but don't needed it's some birds. Needed some lumber. Um, let me try something. And I'm going to just 
push my hands forward and just smoke is going to billow from me and literally create a mez um, there um, as I cast uh, Major Image. Okay. And I'm going to start making it walk out. Okay. And uh, so I do, if I recall, it does have a range of 120 feet. I'm I'm going to be in a spot where I'm kind of hidden, and I'm going to, say, close and bar the door. And I'm looking through a small sliver, like, so I can just see where it is. And I'm going to make it walk around and look like it's checking the area. But I'll keep letting it get further and further and further out. At times, if nothing if impacts it or tries to do anything, I'll have it walk towards the tree line. Okay. Uh, it walks the full 120 feet into the tree line and nothing bothers it. So same, I would just have it come out and just keep uh, patrolling. I'll have it come back and literally act like it's knocking on the door. <laughs> and then uh, have it come back in and... Uh, once it's back in, they'll just fall to smoke on the ground. I guess what they said last night was true. Uh, we are not its to have. So technically, if we had to go somewhere, looks like we could. Tonight we have to worry about. Mm. But if there are things that we would benefit from going out and grabbing, it might be wise to do it now what's out there that we could need not sure boz what did you want lumber for it's gonna for one thing make a better uh haft for that spear you've been using mm. um is lady thane around uh yes do we do we need more materials for the windows to be boarded or do we have everything? She will shout <laughs> across the room at her. <laughs> uh, she says, I think we have enough. It's the only thing I could think of. We should probably recover your arrows. I can do that. I'm sneaky. Move is one, or are we sneaking out? Are you sneaking out individually by yourself? Or we'd just, only need to just get to grab arrows, tree, right? Well, I'd oh. say stay stay away from oh. the tree line, and for the most part, there might be a tree closer by, though. Yeah, there are some trees pretty close, right? Do those count as the the tree line? Uh, um, DM or... So let me let me look at the map. So yeah. the tree line is this secondary set of trees. The, okay. the the closer up trees you could definitely get to. I'll just point, uh, the, the uh... tree line starts past this second building. Hmm. I'll point to one of the uh, smaller, sort of springier looking trees, uh, and and say to Boz, "What about that one? You can probably get." Get out there, crack it down, pull it back fairly quick. Is there a wood splitting axe? We can find something for you, though. Much obliged. All right, let's 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 go then, I guess. Let's go. Mary, overhead, keep a watch. Perhaps we Greatest have one person nods. stay here by the door in case... Mez, uh, yeah. Large ambush party comes. We'll book it back. I can cover you with, uh... I can cover you if you head back towards the door. And I'll say, Mary, keep keep watch for them. Call out if, if you need anything. I'll... Okay. Stand by the door. All right. I'll just um, scamper around and get arrows while they do the tree chopping. Okay, roll investigation check. 
Okay. So just see how many arrows you find. Investigation check. I got a 26. Okay, yeah, you're able to recover every arrow you fired. So Heck you're yeah. back to whatever you started with. Heck yeah. Um, so, Bosric, you go out to, uh, with your wood chopping axe to the trees. Does Clovis and Quedon, do you go with him, or do you I, kind of just do your own thing? I am accompanying him uh, okay. to help and also to keep watch on the tree line so that there's no no ambush. Okay. Ditto. Okay. I'm at the door watching. All right. Um, so, with the three of you out there, while well, Zier scampers around, um, can all three of you roll perception checks? Boz, because you're slightly distracted, roll yours with disadvantage. Perception, you say? That's a 16. 14. Okay. 18. Damn. Um, okay. Um, all of you actually hear something kind of clumsily traipsing through the trees. Okay. Uh, I think I would... Uh, I'm not going to give him a pat on the shoulder because he's probably actively swinging an axe. Uh, but I'll I'll motion to uh, Boz to hold for a second. Something. Not sure if it's coming this way, but it's near. Uh, and I've got sort of my shield out. Um... Lumbering through the woods, you guys see one of the uh, sort of like spored up zombies that you fought in Seltradon's basement. It's just one. And it seems to be unarmed and unarmored. Hmm. It's very slowly lumbering towards you. Okay. Does it, appear, us? Does it yes. appear to be moving at us with purpose or it just happens to be coming in our direction? It seems to be moving at you with purpose. Okay. Hmm. I was probably not. my my instinct, which would be well, I, yeah, I'm just gonna say it because it would be his instinct. Uh, <laughs> without thinking about it too hard, Clovis would say, "Can we help you?" Uh, I don't think it was from Mistress. I'll look back, astonished, over my shoulder at Queen. I didn't think that would work. And then its head kind of lulls down, and then it snaps up, and you see its eyes glow blue. And it says, well, well, well. Look at all of you out here acting like nothing has happened. I have a message for you, and it is not a message of anger. I'm not angry. You killed my daughter, but I'm not mad. However, you did break one of my rules. You killed someone important to me. But that's fine. Because you have in your power the option to repay me. Just replace my daughter. The satyr girl will do. You have 12 hours to decide. And the zombie's head slumps forward. And no, full, um, full Abraham Lincoln vampire hunter. <laughs> All right. So, um, Quedon and Clovis, as he does this, you see the tattoos on the other side of his face flare red. And as the axe strikes the zombie, you actually no, no, not see the zombie, the tree. I'm, I'm, oh, it's a tree. Okay. I, I, so I, as I, was, he... I was still chopping. As he That's why I the said tree, for, um, for the woods. You actually see an after image of an orc in like tribal armor with a great axe that is sort of an after image off of his axe as the tree shatters. You take a message back? Ah, uh, the zombie has fallen down. We didn't kill her daughter, but I suppose she doesn't care about that. I was thinking the same, yes. 
Flame. Doesn't matter. I have business with Seltradots anyway. Not the mother. Natasha. Um. And again. I'm going <clears> to <throat> ask uh, Quedon and Clovis, do either of you speak Orkish? Ah, uh, no. I'll then neither of you I'll understand what he so. just said. Hmm. Because he said all of it in Orkish. I look directly at... Would I... At, um... I wouldn't understand it, but would I at least recognize that it is Orkish? Okay. Yes. Bosric, mm. can you can you hear us? Yeah. You understand what we're saying? Yeah. Am I? Am I all speaking common? What? What? We're not. You're speaking Orkish. I know that much, as I've I've. All right. I will. Can I actively sound, shift but... back to common? Uh, you just take a deep breath, and as you exhale, um, Queen and Cl the tattoos turn white and then fade. Well, what I said was, I have business with Seltradolf anyway, not the mother, Natasha. Right. Sun's getting real low. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <It's... Lemon>? Sorry. <laughs> Queen of inspiration. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Is this tree still like does it exist? Yeah, it exists. It has just like a chunk of it has been shot out. Okay. Uh I'm gonna sort of give a very pointed look at where the tree and, and the huge chunk that is missing and look back at Bosric. Why don't we get this chopped down and get inside? I think maybe there's a something we should discuss. It was going to come up anyway. <laughs> and I will finish. And from also for for uh, for future reference, my intent with this tree, Dreadmaster, is actually twofold. One, want to make a new spear half for for. Uh, uh, Clovis. Also, I would like to make a banner. A ban? Okay. Uh, so, yeah, easy, easily done. Uh, you mm -hmm. can acquire the wood you need for both of those things. Cool. All right, and then I'll help drag the the wood in. I'm assuming we're going to try and process it inside, so we spend less time outside. Um. I would assume I so. Yeah, so I guess we're just chopping I it up into whatever old. manageable pieces we can move and then pulling, yeah. pulling everything in. Which is surprisingly easy, considering that uh, Bosric is very strong. Mm. Um, Zir, you would not have heard the conversation, but you would have heard the resounding crack as Bosric obliterated a tree. Um... It's a little overkill, I think. <laughs> your neck vibrates sadly in your pocket. Yeah, I don't... Haragoki is sad. <laughs> right? Oh no, the trees. No, Haragoki's not vegan. He understands as the long as you're respectful. Is sad. Um, I, don't, I don't know that that was respectful. I don't think I would investigate tree. because I know Boz is just in general, kind of an intense guy. So I'm just like, I don't know. It's, it might just be how he chops trees, I guess. Can I see this from the door? Uh, No, you cannot see the tree obliteration. Probably. Okay. You would have possibly heard it, though. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You heard it. Well, Mary didn't say anything, so I don't care. I'll be like, man, they're, they're out there cutting down trees. Mm-hmm. Um, Mary will respond in your head. Basra changed for a moment. Something overtook his body. Changed into what? Not like that. Like when you put on the mask. Oh. Uh, don't give anything away. Just tell me more later. Uh, you get 
you know, you get the idea that Mary understands. Just okay. dragging this tree. <laughs> As they drag that in, I'm like, you, <clears throat> did you guys need the, the whole tree? We got wood. I'm just following orders. <laughs> we we did it. All right. Um, we have firewood, if nothing else. And he's just, as well. Okay. I'll I'll start a fire. <sighs> Bosric, so. please. I need to start lifting weights. <laughs> that sucked. Wait, did they make Clovis drag the thing by himself? No. Uh, no, I think well, by himself. We were all doing it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But it... Yeah, I walked. It was the one guy holding... Uh, 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 and the other guy going... Doo, doo, doo. Okay, okay. I was yeah. about to be like, wow, you guys are dicks. Yeah, it's us two, <laughs> on, is one. Back there it's us two on one Who's going to carry yeah. the boats? Who's going to carry the boats? I'm going to mm. carry the boats. Uh, <sighs> please. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Bosric, when you uh, chop that tree down, how did you feel? You need three guesses. The first two don't count. All right, um... I'm gonna go ahead and say probably angry. Um uh probably angry. You were there. You were there when yeah, she did and it. For my third, I'm probably gonna say angry. Uh, well done. Nice. You were there when Got she put that me. blade to my neck. I was. In Orcish society, that's a challenge. Mm. She challenged me and she didn't follow through. So I don't care about the rest of you, but I'm officially at war with Seltrinol. At least the daughter. And I will and I mean to settle that. I mean I to have my challenge. I am aware that it will not end there unless she kills me. But if I kill her, it would be worse than we already are. Thus we need it we need to prepare for the not for that battle, but for the battle that comes after. And the battle that comes after that. Mm. But it's still a fight I mean to have. Understood. Um, speaking, though, of, of orcish society, as we were, when that happened, you sort of changed. You don't know this again. <laughs> it's happened once or twice before. Your tattoos changed color, and when you swung that axe, there was a sort of... It wasn't quite the same as... Zir's siblings, but there was a sort of spectral presence there. Saw it as well. Seemed to mimic what it was you were doing. Not sure if it amplified your strength, or if you've just kind of been holding out on us this whole time, but um, that was uh, truly an impressive blow against that uh, honestly defenseless and undeserving tree. Uh, what yes, well, if there is some lovely like this, ability, it'd be nice if it showed that? itself when I'm in a goddamn actual fight. Well, and perhaps. he's and he's going to go back to try and he's going to just start working on fashioning. Well, no, things, perhaps so. we can. The reason that we're telling story. you, Bosric, is because now that you're aware of it, maybe it can. Might require a bit of active input, and if we're also assuming this isn't. Something with greater power messing with us. Well, this uh, is new to you as well. Ho holding back a, a little bit of umbrage at the statement, Clovis is going to calmly say, Bosric, not every higher power is malevolent. No, but the ones here are. Well, except <laughs> for the except for the matron. But yes. There, and possibly but though there are ones that are and I'm going to point to Missouri. There are malevolent ones after us. Fair enough. But this might be something of great benefit to us. Well, if it shows itself at a useful time, I'll believe it. Till then, it's all flashy lights with no substance. Fair enough. He has not had... The past few fights have not given him any confidence in anything. He does not believe he has anything special. 
Hmm. He's got people telling it to him, but it's, he needs he needs physical proof. <laughs> but yes, he begins fashioning a new spear haft for you. Nice. Um, and yeah, I'll I'll surrender uh, my my javelin to be cannibalized and turn into a spear. Uh, for that process. Uh, you are right. you are muted, Dreadmaster. You're muted. <clears throat> that will take you the better part of today. Mm -hmm. I think Clovis is assisting, so I'm gonna I'm gonna step away for a second while that's going on. I'm gonna drink tea. All right. So. Um. What is uh yeah? What is everybody else up to? I've got arrows. <laughs> if nobody's approaching uh, Mez, then I'll be talking to Mary about something. But otherwise, I'm just sitting at the bar drinking tea. I will kind of over carving relay what the zombie told us. Oh. Yeah. Oh well. Um. I'm going to assume we're not going to hand over the satyr girl. Why not? No, I have different, like I, uh, like I said, I have different plans for the Seltrodots. Do you want to become Sorry. one of their family? Why not? No, I want to kill one of their family. Or at the very least, have a fight with one of their family. I, I meant Zir. Does Zir want oh. to be one of their family? No. Okay, then turning you over but, is not. Are you comfortable you being used as bait? Yeah. Oh, we don't even need that. I will walk up to their door. I have a challenge to issue. I'm I'm sorry. I'm a little confused because I thought the goal was not to immediately fight them, and now it seems like our plan oh, is no, to no, no. immediately fight them. I have I, I have my own. Be Natasha put a weapon to my throat and drew my blood. In Orcus society, that's a challenge. She owes me a fight. I'm going to be mean. What happens after 12 hours? I'm pretty sure they just come here. Well, well that's fine. We don't Save want them to come there. We don't, well, we don't want them to come here. We don't want to put people in danger. It's true. So, once again, if you want me to buy time, I'll be bait. Uh, don't like that idea but well DM what did they say exactly what did they want with her? they just they wanted an exchange yeah just and then they just give them zero and then they'll, they'll just leave them alone or yeah. leave us give alone zero and it's it's even um, I'm going to say it probably makes more Why sense if we want to deal with this to either lure them here or go there because chances are it's an enclosed area where we can actually get to them. There they may bring up more zombies. Here people are in danger. Sad but true. I like our chances better there because if we break anything, it's not ours. And we won't put a lot of people, good people who have helped us many times over in danger. It's true. Well, I think we're as prepared to face them as we can be. At least once the armor's done. Will that be within That's, 12 hours? That won't happen. That won't happen within 12 hours. Uh, well, the, the, the split mail would take three days. The studded mail was less time, the right? The studded leather probably doesn't take the full three days. 
No, but the studded leather was also started a day later. Yeah. So it was going to even out at the same time. Oh. I mean, can we buy some time? From the all-powerful gods. How do we send a message? Well, she sent a message through a zombie. I don't have that have kind of, of those? sway. Hmm. What message would you like to send? Says a voice from one of the tables. Well... That we're not gonna trade we'd rather fight but we need a date <laughs> how do you ask <laughs> someone for that and have them give it to you huh um we could always send a message of we understand your point of view however we must speak and we require more time than you've given we will come to your your manor in 24 hours Okay. If, if they talk come, it out. If they we come, need to talk it out in person, but we can't get there today. We'll have to get there tomorrow, kind of thing. Yeah, we need to rest to make the journey. We will be there tomorrow. Well, I can't promise they'll listen to that, but I'll see what I can. I mean, Ooh. no matter what we send, is a bad message. Um, it's not what they want to hear, so. Who are, are you? Yeah, who, what is Apologies. Who is um, This uh, gentleman that stands up, um, he's got uh, kind of like the begin. He kind of has facial hair like mine, actually, sort of like a beard that is sort of perpetually growing in, but it is platinum blonde to the point that it appears white. Hmm. He says, I apologize. I am um, Dr. Folisha. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Oh. You may call me Herr Folger if you'd like. I'm not going to remember that. Believe it or Fair not, we had, we had been intending to meet with you. Then this happened. Oh, yeah. You've saved us quite some time, Herr Folger. I do what I can to speed up time. So, we wish to send a message to the big bitch. I can rage that. Well, she seems to be... I doubt she'll go for it, but... A message can be sent. Hmm. Hmm. What's in it for you? He just smiles. Doesn't oh. say anything else. Actually, I think I know what's in it for you. Never mind. Do you now? And what is in it for me, Lipsha? Well, if we deal with her, that means you don't have to. You are smarter than they give you credit for, my hair. I keep telling them that. It will require a bit of a sacrifice. Something to you? I have something that I can certainly exchange, and I'll pull out the skull. For a man of your uh, talents, would such a thing be interesting? He takes the skull and turns it over a couple of times, and then he looks back at you and it just starts to float above his hand and spin, and as it's spinning it's starting to turn into just an orb of gold. Well, yeah, I could make use of these. Some of the clockwork on my guardians has gotten a little bit rusty, and it says nothing better than oral. But it's also hard to get here in this plane. I consider this a trait. Fair enough. And he snaps his fingers, and you hear the sound of thunder as a small electrical charge escapes from his fingers, strikes the ball, and it vanishes. You are so very interesting. And I do wish you luck. 
How did you Many get thanks. in here? I come and go as I please. I'm I can appear like a person when I like. As far as anyone else knows, I just appear like one of their little dark haired urchins. Only you can see what I actually mean. It's part of my gift. I can and as he puts his hand in front of his face, he looks like Yuzir. I can change my face. Oh. Whenever I choose. Or I can let Worship. people see what I actually look like or what I don't. Hmm. It is the masters of flesh shaping. So we can't trust anyone even more so than we already thought. Oh, Lipshan, you can trust. I've been helping you all this time. We are certainly interested in building a working relationship. Well said. Let us start with the message. And go from there. What do you guys want to say? I'm good at I'm good at manipulating a field of battle, not manipulating a mind. I I don't I I don't know what you said sounded pretty good to me. That we need to how, how far, talk the matters out in person, but we can't get there that soon. How far is the manor from here? Ah, uh, it's a day's work. So... So, yeah. We need we to discuss, can. and then we need to travel. So it's good enough. Yeah. Reg we um, could say, regardless of decision, we will be there... Um, if it's a day's travel, it means if we'd have to sleep and discuss and travel a day. Given all that, it looks like we're looking beyond 24 hours. 12 hours to discuss, rest, and travel, you're looking at 36. But we, but we will be there to settle the matter. Regardless of our decision, we will do her the courtesy of presenting our answer in person. As fitting of her station. Perhaps we require extra time to prepare a suitable apology for our grievous trespasses. We're our already course. wiping our ass. We might as well not kiss it, too. Mm. <laughs> when you're dealing with nobles... Which is why I said that regardless we would regardless of our answer, we will present it in person and is is adequate and customary for her position. Somebody else can clean that up if one of you has a better mind for words. I don't think she'll go for it, but this is what I will sell her. Do you have any suggestions, Herr Forger? Make a decision. You can either go now, or you can tell her to fuck herself. <clears throat> She's not going to accept either of the other options. Well, I already offered myself as bait. What if I'm a confirmation? I go now with the promise that everyone else will. No. Then they have you. Then, then they, they have you. you. There's no reason for us. They've gotten what they want. They'll stay and shut the doors. And you have no backup. You have no one to cover you. And it's three against one. In that's your best case scenario. Yes. We worked as hard as we did just to get one person out. I think the best we can hope for is we have we'll we'll have an answer. It will be delayed, but we will have an answer for her. Well, she's not dumb. If we go now, she'll know we're making preparations to fight. What are the, what are the consequences to? But we don't have our oh. armor at the moment. Yeah. It will put it will put Zir in a very vulnerable position. I mean, I'll I have my chainmail. I just don't have my. I mean, you clearly aren't a fan of 
of the woman I... Who, Gregor? Dr. Folger. My bad. Yes. Okay. Herr Folger, perhaps I'm being a bit presumptuous, but if we were to go take care of this problem for you, and were to promise you a fair share of the orum that will be left in the castle after they're gone, is there anything that you could give us to help tip the scales in our favor? Hmm. We're lacking a bit in the actually being able to hit them department. That helps well, stir up any ideas. The matron well, gave you the, uh, the worm stomach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. not, not the sisters. What, we're, what, what concerns us is the mother. Yeah, we I don't imagine know much she'll about... be similarly protected. Though. We don't know much you about her. her we have... have... You actually do have something already that the mother fears. Uh. Why do you think she asks for the satyr in particular? Ha ha ha. Mm. You're right. True. Good to know. She is an unnatural creature and has been an opponent of Horagoki for some time since her... since she was human. That dagger you carry has poison designed specifically for her blood. Make hmm. it coagulate in her body. Good to know. I see why you asked if I use that in the Katya fight now. <laughs> <laughs> interesting, interesting. So mm. we could go now, but just know that I'm a bit diminished. Well, we have 24 hours. We no, we have this. 12. She gave us 12. 12. Hmm. Oh. We're hoping to ask for more. And she's either going to listen to us or not. Because we need but the like armor. like I said, she's not dumb. She'll probably know that the reason we're delaying is because we're preparing. That's true. Hmm. Twelve hours puts us at what time? Um, it's noon, so midnight. Don't know how metagamey this is, but gang, going at midnight feels like the wrong choice regardless. I agree. Makes it sounds like the right choice for uh, her, which is exactly what she's setting up. Yeah, nighttime is uh, no good. I think we take our chances with the message. She either listens or she doesn't. Perhaps we explain the truth. Traveling at night is simply not an option for us. There would be too many dangers. If we're to successfully get her what she wants, which is Zir, and do so safely, we have to travel during the day. There's not enough time yes. left to make the trip today, so we would have to wait until tomorrow. As much as, as much as she is benevolent, we do have something she wants. Clearly we know that. And we can tell her there is perhaps very little chance of us even making it to her alive if we travel at midnight. Mm -hmm. So if she wants, if she truly wants... Then perhaps she will, but... I listen to your message if you'd like. Just telling me what I think. Oh, I don't like much. I, I don't like our chances much either. But mm. send one version of message or the other, and how long will your message take to get to her? Oh, it should be there instantly. Is there any way to delay that? I could try. If we I need to talk, to if, if we need to talk and discuss it, if she gets the answer right away, then it's very true. If we say we are bringing the satyr to you, we are bringing the satyr, 
but we cannot travel at night as it is un, uh, unsafe. We will travel first light tomorrow. That's actually okay. And if we send it in a few hours, it'll be it'll get there, quote unquote, instantaneously, given the source, meaning that it would be much more likely that if we said in three hours of, you know, talking this over, that it is true, we would no longer have the light on our side to make the trip. If we send it now, then we could make haste and potentially beat the timer. So if we delay our decision and then send the letter, the message later, then it actually makes sense that we're not going to travel if it's 4, 30, 5 o'clock and we have an hour of light. Smart. Mm -hmm. I think this is the best we're going to get in terms of a message. I'm trying to use logic against illogical beings. Mm. Doctor, yes. will she know the message is from you? Oh, yeah. Mm. She knows the messages from me. And I'm sure she already knows that I am here. I don't think she much cares. So then we send the message in about four to four and a half hours. And then that way, it seems like we actually had a conversation. Mm -hmm. It takes valuable daylight for travel away and makes our request... More plausible. More realistic. Yes. Sure. Realism aside, when dealing with somebody who clearly doesn't care about you or your well-being, the best way to get to them is to convince them that what you want is actually what they've wanted the whole time. Yeah, if if we don't want to damage her prize. Precisely. Perfect. I doubt it's perfect, but it's the best I've got. I'm sorry I can't do better for you guys. I'm a little out of it. It's no, fine. In terms yeah. of a message, I think we've arrived at the best that we're going to get. All Agreed. Right. And I'm just going to go back to drinking my tea. Can I see that, uh, that substance? The one for the, the cold? Yeah. And I'll hand it over. Cool. I'm not going to put it on yet, because I'm not sure that's going to be the next fight I'm going to have, but I will keep it handy. Uh, uh, Dr. Folger makes his way out. Um, Thank you. I'm going to get a in your message. Uh, yeah. We appreciate it, Herr Fold. Thank you for your help. We'll talk again soon. I assume. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd be watching. We'll put on a good show for you. <laughs> Nothing if not entertaining. Is the, is the vial that we have of the, of the stomach, the cold, the, the wet cold, um, <laughs> is it one big vial that you can get three applications out of or it's is it three. like three it's separate three vials, vials. Yeah. okay so okay great so boss did you want one or two at least one okay he's like i said i mean to challenge natasha and i mean to, and i mean to do a damage okay i'll give you two thank you um and i'll keep one since i've got the the poison dagger the whittle, so, the whittle dagger, the poison. And I, I'm going to turn to the matron and just, uh, is there any way to put a rush on that armor? It looks like we're going going to need it sooner than later. You mean Amelia? Oh, uh, Amelia, yeah, yeah, Amelia. Yeah. We can help. And I'll say, wow, you traveled fast. We're good. <laughs> listen, listen, we ain't rookies here. <laughs> uh, we can tell. It's, it's pretty simple. You just click fast travel and... <laughs> No, you, you can't travel fast by travel map. When enemies are nearby. <laughs> you can't fast travel when enemies are nearby. That's true. Ah, true, true. Um, all right. Uh, she says, uh, the uh, blacksmith says, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll put a rush on the armor. If I can, add if I'll help me. Who's first? If it's easier. Uh, no, it's easier if I do yours first. I'm kind of making hers out of scraps. Not because you're getting scrap, but because it's easier to turn scrap into studs. Cool. Sense. Um, okay, so yeah, if you guys are going to assist, uh, he does get it done uh, with, like, kind of, like, a little early. Um, but yeah, you guys get uh, the armor that you requested. Which I nice. believe was... Studded leather for Zir, yep. splint for Bosric, 
And did one of the clerics get plate? No. Chain. Uh, chain. Yeah. Chain, man. chain yes. for, uh, for... For Quedon, yeah. For Quedon, yes. Okay. Oh, boy, I would love some plate armor. I got a really nice cup of Earl Grey. Chain. <laughs> Let's see what uh, that as, does. As flavoring, as uh, Clovis's contribution to uh, providing help to the blacksmith, I think having heard him say it, uh, or having heard them say it, uh, he would uh, offer a prayer to Adivar okay. uh, to, to guide in the smithing. All right. Um, you see um, the image of a ram's head in the forge, uh, and you get the idea that your your prayer was received. Nice. We're going to catch them all, gang. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well. All right. And, uh, uh, after the the other thing I want to do after I've got the 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 half done is I want to make the banner. Okay, uh, that's going to take you some time. That's actually probably going to take you another day. Okay. Um, because it's just you know it's that is that will take time. Uh, but after the four hour mark, you hear another um of uh peal of thunder, and you get the idea that whatever message is being sent has been sent via lightning. Now I guess we wait. Charming fellow, that doctor. Yeah, it seemed too easy. Well, at the moment, our interest in his are aligned. And that's the best we can hope for. And... Well, you've all been enhanced in some way, or most of you, so our prospects are a little better. We're still bugs. Mm. But so, like I said, I think it's a good thing we're bugs. Well, you, with that dagger, you're a scorpion. Heck yeah. <laughs> so, is there anything else you guys want to do with this day? All I'm going to do is send a message to Mary uh, telepathically because I'm not going to be out loud and be like, so, about my father. What do you want to know? You said he's giving me power? More or less. Who is he? know you think you want the answer to that question. You don't. If I don't... If I really don't want the answer, it kind of means I really need the answer. It means it's going to get me killed, so I should probably get ready for it. It is your ignorance of the answer that you're alive for. If you knew, you'd already be dead. So is he feeding me power, or you? get a response are you going to be incorporeal again or are you actually going to be able to stay static I think that's okay whatever hit us last night severed the connection that we have momentarily I didn't like it All right. Whatever, whatever Lissabet is, she is the most dangerous to you. Yeah, I think we're pretty much aware of that. All right. Well, if you can talk to my father, you better let him know we're in trouble. We're going to need all the help we can get if they're going to if we're going to get hit like that again. It's not how he works. But I'll do what I can. Well, if he doesn't find a way to work, then the two of us could be very dead very soon. Um, so, 
I'm actually going to inquire with Lady Thane if she can, if she has something that can help with the exhaustion. Uh, nah, not all of it, but I can help with some of it. Uh, Mr. Mazura, come here. Come, come, come. I will move towards her. She puts her hands on either side of your head. I cast Greater Restoration, which removes a single level of exhaustion. Okay. Um... <sighs> that helps. That helps a bit. Thank you. Sorry I didn't do it earlier. I didn't know exactly what was going on. You're a very private person, and I try not to intrude. I, I appreciate that. Um... I just don't need to do any... I just... If I don't do anything for long enough, I'll be fine. It'll go away. I understand. Well, we should all rest up. You need to be at full strength for whatever you're planning. So, are you guys going to stay up? Or are you kind of toddling off to bed relatively soon? I don't sleep, so... Yeah. Okay. I'm going to uh... actually go to Queen and say... Um, why don't you get your sleep in, then I'll get my sleep in, using the, the uh, or, or perhaps the other way around, using the, I need to be at my best if I'm going to fight Natasha. Of course. And in general. I, I only half sleep, if that makes a difference. I don't have to sleep quite as long, so I'm, I think I'm sort of a natural candidate for any sort of shift situation that we have. I still don't need to sleep, so... I'm fine with... Uh, well... I believe I need my full long rest hours. Yeah. Um... I can't do the math on how that works. <laughs> I don't think you necessarily have to be asleep for the entirety of the long rest. Is that is that correct? Yeah, you know? it's just uh, light light activity. Oh, okay. Yeah, sleep and light um, activity. I'll give it. But in order to not have exhaustion, you need to have at least four hours of sleep. Hmm. Okay, cool. So, so you can still do shifts um, and, and get long rest. Yeah. Yep. Before that, um, I'm going to just turn to Mary. Tooth and claw, before I rest. It's the last time I can change you before this. And I'm going to turn her into a medium fiend tooth and claw. A medium what now? It's a fiend. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry, no, no, I'm actually like actually asking what you said because you said a medium and then it blipped out for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pack tactics and freezing breath. Okay. All right. Um, so as you guys prepare your shifts, uh, at the moment when it is darkest outside, you hear a scream from one of the rooms of the tavern. I will. Uh, you run into the room. Who else is going with him? Anybody? Yes, I'm going as well. Okay. Uh, you run into the room and you see um, a woman on her knees sobbing. Um, you recognize this as Dimitri's mother. Dimitri is also crying. His sister is missing. And in oh, blood shit. written on the wall is the message, I'll find a replacement then. And that's where we're going to take our break. How much of a rest did we get? Um, I haven't done anything all day. I'm like, I haven't done any, anything yeah. all day. <laughs> you didn't get... I'll, I'll count that as your rest, so you're not exhausted anymore. But the rest of you are not have not had a full rest. Guys should have been lazy like me, instead of cutting down <laughs> trees and listening to zombies. <laughs> mm. Well, no, you all kind of did light activity all day. You didn't really do anything crazy. So I'll, I'll allow it that you guys light? have rested. Shh. 
Don't question it. Let it happen. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not... Light activity. Yes, correct. <laughs> Good catch. Good yeah, catch, yeah. Dungeon Master. Um, can can we investigate this this crime scene? <laughs> yes. Um, it looks very similar to what was left over when Dimitri was taken all those times ago. Oh. Uh, it seems like someone missed it in here, grabbed the girl, and missed it out. Okay, so it was probably one of the sisters and not Seltradot herself. Yes. Cool. It Slide. was Ivanka in the sleeping room with the blood magic. <laughs> and it's about to be Boz at the front of Seltradot Castle with the katana. <laughs> um, nice. Hearing them cry, um, you'll just hear the chains as I'm whipping them up going, I think we leave now. Is that what we're doing? What time have, is it? We have our armor, yes? You have your armor. Then yes. It's midnight. Night. We travel... Oh, but we, at, yeah, we have to travel there. At night? The longer that we wait, the more time she has to experiment on the child. Hmm. But if we go now, there's also a chance we might not even make it there. Why didn't she take me? You would have put up a fight. Hmm. Plus, you were... She wanted to teach you a lesson. Says Lady Thane. Well. How far can the tunnels get us? Tunnels... don't know the way. We've never used them. Probably. Do we risk the tunnels over traveling by land at night? We have to fight our way through the tunnels. We'll be putting ourselves at a severe disadvantage. Uh, and we have a history with, well, what we've seen to be out there. And well, we may end up it, wasting time. Well, of mm. course, it's a danger. We, we know don't that know we can way. face it. What time is sun up? This is the approximation we have to sun up is 8 a.m. Uh, Dreadmaster, um, in terms of large creatures, um, how much can they carry? Uh, one medium creature. What? Okay, what about a huge beast? Two medium creatures? Mm. And then... Um, Gargantuans can carry. Oh, damn. All right, uh, Mary can't become anything large enough to to carry us all hmm. with haste. I'll look outside. Um. Okay. Uh. The the beasts are still patrolling the tree line. We don't know who these beasts are working for, do we? No. Well, if they are working for Madame Seltradat, we might be looking at an armed escort. We tell them that we wish to uh, pay her a visit. Which also, puts, which also makes them something we'll have to deal with, which might be anyway. Also, keep in mind, she got what she wanted. She wanted a replacement. She now has one. There's no reason for them not to attack. I doubt she... Strictly speaking, got what she wanted. I think she wants what Zier has more than Zier herself. No offense, Zier. I'm sure you're a very desirable younger child. Um, but I think it, it's the dagger that she's after. Not particularly our friend. Okay, how do we proceed then? The tunnels, if we don't know the way, we could get lost... And if we get lost, then we'll waste more time. Not to mention the thing is down there. I'd rather the devil I know than the one I don't. We know yeah. there's something in the tree line. We don't know what's down there. And the fact that nobody 
wants to go down there is enough to tell me we shouldn't yet. Well, I mean, Dr. Bolger's on our side, and... Well, he has... He has an interest... Would, would probably prefer we get to her alive so she can deal with us herself. So that's at least two people that probably won't mess with us. Uh, I'll pull out the little rook statue that I have. And we do have a portable fortress, so we're not, you know, entirely out in the woods. And let's let's move with haste then, because the longer we talk about it, the more time she has. Sounds good. Sounds good. At the very least, try and, leaving. If they attack, maybe we'll have to retreat back here and wait. And if not, then we keep going. Conserve... Wait your abilities we may it's very possible we won't get to rest again before this is over which of us um can cantrips see in the dark alone. i can see in everything except for my smoke i can see in the dark i can also see in the dark i can see through pitch black Do satyrs have dark vision? I always forget. I don't believe so. I don't think so. Hey, okay, I can't. So, uh, if I can stay behind one of you guys, that would be nice. Fire might also be a useful get torches. Yeah, we can just light a torch. I don't know if we want to. It will draw attention, but I who being able to see is rather important. I can see perfectly fine. I'll lead. If we need light, then we can use it, but let's not announce ourselves quite so early. Perfect. Hmm. I've got rope. We could do this sort of belt loop trick. Why? That's a bad idea because the second one of Why? us gets pulled by something really large and powerful, we're all going for a ride. Well, you, know, you tie it with the knot that you can really, that you can easily undo. So, it's just a suggestion. It, mainly for Zia, walking in the dark through the forest, not great. Um, I can just hold someone's hand. Mary, walk with Zia. Mary can also see in darkness. Oh, perfect. Is she still a chicken cat? Um, no. She is a uh, a tooth and claw. So if you look at, uh, let me see if I can find an image. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the best example I could use would be from Magic: The Gathering because there's not an actual image of it somewhere else. It's like a uh, demonic, multi-eyed looking giant tiger. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, Sears, so chill with that. All right. Um, we know the way to sell Trajot Manor, so I'm going to pull out my sensor so it's ready to use, and someone should board up the door behind us. And I'm going to open the door, and I'm going to look out and take a few steps because I'm stupid. And hope that everybody follows me. <laughs> Does everybody follow him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. On, on my way out, I'm going to look Lady Fanny and I say, I will take, with every breath I take today, I will ensure that they never do this again. This is the day that House Seltridot burns. See, it's done. Yeah. And she slams the door behind you, and you hear a very heavy, like, bar right you guys are moving at haste um it is still going to take you some time to get there but moving at haste um you guys notice and i don't know if you feel good about this or not but as you're running it seems like it's easier as if a path is being made in front of you as if the trees are moving to accommodate your path mm. um DM, I'm requesting that I have to roll a wisdom save. Go for it. <laughs> I am always, everyone is always allowed to do self-imposed fear checks. 
What? Uh, um, that's fear of, a fear of dark. Uh, fear of a oh, weird path forming. Fear, fear of, of 15. Uh, yeah, fifteen. Uh, you are unsettled by the unnatural, uncivilized nature of the trees here. You are suffering the fear condition. Okay. I'm gonna actually grab hold of uh, Clovis. You're right. No. No, no. It, why are they? It's moving. How do we? Uh, Zia. How does Missouri know where we're going? Zia, pull that dagger of yours. Hmm? That dagger of yours. Pull it out real quick. Uh, I think I should keep it. Clovis, can you see in the dark at all? Shift until fight? Uh, yeah. So when I hear the. How does he know where I'm going? I turn around. You can see the smoke. Like I'm literally like right in front of your face, and the smoke's billowing out of my eyes. And I'm actually um, going to try to uh, let me look here. Um, persuasion, and I'm going to look and be like, because you have nothing to fear, because the scariest thing in these woods right now is me. And when I say that, the smoke really starts to release. And I'm on your side. Uh, meanwhile, Boz is trying to appeal and... to something that is... Um, oh. Just that for is... the persuasion, I did roll a 23. I am going to pause for a minute there, Boz. Go for you it. You don't get a chance to say anything. Go for as it. soon as Missouri says, I'm the scary thing, and the scariest thing in this forest, you'll notice the music stops. So does the rest of the sound. <laughs> and you hear a voice say, Is no, that not. so? <laughs> Boz is it's literally going to facepalm and say to Missouri, You had to do it, didn't you? I was trying to make him feel better. And did it work? No. You feel better, little uh, bit, you miss. No, 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 no. Is she no, actually no, no, here? No, 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 no. That is too bad. And now, walking out of the tree line, you see a veiled woman in a purple dress. Hey, we're so deeply busy right now. Can we not do this? We've got, like, a time crunch. Clovis is holding his shield completely incorrectly, just covering as much of his torso as he can. We will we will play together some other time. Yeah. I'm aware of the time crunch. I've moved the trees for you. Thank we noticed. We hated it. Attack. They, thank you. But I don't very much like when someone tells me they're more frightened. Why do you think that is, Mizzou? Why do you think you're scared of it? Well, two things. One, I didn't know you were here. And two, one day I'm sure we'll find out. And it'll be a fun day. But today we have something else that has to be handled. What is more important? What is more important than talking to me? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> well, do you like to be challenged? Yes, actually. I do enjoy a challenge if it is at my level. Are we at your level? We both know the answers. No. No, but you do have something I want. Something I don't understand why was given to you. And you did so callous. And at this, she's very slowly walking towards Ms. at this point. You use our father's gift. Your father's gift. So shameful. But I have good news for you. I've spoken to you. Oldest. He's an old acquaintance. A lover, you might say. A lover, you might say. And so, I decided to have a little about his errant disciple. 
I'm going to look at Mary and go, does everybody know who my father is but me? She, Mary looks terrified. And Lisabeth is walking closer. Would you like to know what he said, Zura? Not particularly. Everything in its time. Milady, um, with all due respect, I personally have a matter with the Seltrodots that I must prosecute if, with all haste. Thus, our haste to make our way there. I appreciate your help in in, us, in helping us arrive there. Then see yourselves to it. But before you go, I will deliver a message. Um... Lisabeth's hand begins to glow black and she jams it into Missouri's chest and she pulls out what appears to be a red dragonborn with dark black wings and a sword on its back. Clovis and uh, Queden, could you please roll religion checks for me? Oh yeah. Uh, Zira's gonna move to grab Mez's hand. Oh, I'm you so are glad muted. that's one of my best skills. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dirty 20. 15. Okay. All right. Um, Quedon, you've seen this creature before. You don't remember where. It was in some obscure book. But it's something, and it's something bad. Clovis, you have seen this before, and you know what this is. You have seen that shape before. And as afraid as you were before, you are terrified now. What has just been pulled out of Mazura is the effigy of Shoatan the Titan because of the last apocalypse. Mm -hmm. And as she pulls this effigy out of Mazura's chest, Mazura, she looks at you and her eyes have that serpentine look. Yeah. And in the same voice you heard the night before, you are not worthy of this gift. And then it shatters. Mazura, you are no longer a work. Your pact has been severed. Um, immediately, I'm going to grab my chest, but I'm actually looking directly to Mary. Um, Mary vanishes. Best of luck with your mission, Zura. Um, I the am... next time you think to speak against me, remember, you are not worthy of the gifts you are given. And she vanishes. Oh. As she says that, I am whipping my, immediately my sensor comes loose and starts flying at her. Um, pretty sure it's not going to get to her in time, but I am. Just barely misses her. Mez. And I'm, I'm going to spend a moment just trying to summon Mary. Mez. We don't, we don't have time. I'll just... Huh. What happened ah. is this is going to take a little bit longer to get there. Let's and go. as I start to walk forward, you see... If anybody's looking at me, instead of before, my eyes are still black, but... Anybody who was close to me, you know I had that all the darker Azamar are very, like, almost white skin. Mm -hmm. And I had kind of a gray, like a mix between the uh, human uh, and that dark Azamar. I now have a human complexion. And I'll just lead Jeez. us, start to lead us forward. But if anybody's looking at me, my eyes are like this now as I'm focusing in the darkness. She took his power. Are you saying it loud? S soft. Like, <laughs> oh, okay. uh, just kind of like... Well, I remember you were in the back, so if you're like right behind him going, yeah! <laughs> no, I mean, no, that's, this is not a time for shouting. So I will say all of you saw the creature, only Clovis recognized it. Uh... I think Clovis might be quietly sobbing. Uh, 
Oh, um, hey folks, let's let's um let's focus up, huh? The fuck just happened? What the we fuck just happened? What we're the on fuck? a mission. I know, I know, I know. That? Can we not be? Can we not be in the woods while we process our emotions? I will stop and turn around and be like, "This changes nothing. We, we have a job to the do." Fortress up. What's that? I. Yes. Okay. Sure. Uh... Okay. Let's let's clarify this. Um, one of the bad people reached inside of me and apparently ripped out uh, part of my father. So now that we've covered that, we can move along. Oh. Um... And if anybody's looking, you've never seen him. He's always been very, like, even the worst search situation, his breathing's always regulated. He is, like, he, he, he is not okay right now. We have a child what? looking for uh, that we're looking for. And if I recall, Bosrek has a fight that he'd like to challenge. So we should keep moving because that's what we do. Focus. Uh, he does not respond. Um, Boz, can you lead? I'm gonna ask the same thing. No, I'll lead. If something bad happens, it should happen to me. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm going to go and say, if no, if you do grab onto him, um, he will immediately. Um, before he would use fear, but the second you put your hand on him, he's immediately going to go grip up and push you back and go, no. One of us is now expendable. It's me. None of us are expendable. Agree to disagree. I'm not afraid of death. And I'm just going to start walking forward, but you will hear a clanking behind me as I've obviously let my chain loose behind me for you to follow. You're muted. Oh. Dang it! Those of you who can see in the dark would see that Missouri has no bearing and is in no condition to leave this room. He can't see. I'm gonna... I'm going to, uh, first yeah. I'm gonna go up to Clovis and put a hand, kind of turn him around and say... Oh, uh, when you touch him, he drops his shield? Ah! Yeah, he, uh, he's going to literally grab... Boz grabs Clovis and look, look at me in the eye. Look at me. Look at me. Oh. Uh, Deep breaths in, out. Boss, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if I can, boss. I, I, that, that's, that, I don't want you to focus on anything except breathing in, and out with me. Do in, out, in, out. Uh, Mez is getting ahead. Stop him, will you please? Hey, Mez. You, as you, you can lead just one second. Um, as you're saying that, you would hear my armor tink on the ground and just hear me say, I can't breathe in this. Uh, I can't move. So you've stopped moving? I've stopped moving, but my armor has just hit the ground. Okay. All right. I'm focusing still with, with gloves. In? You breathing? Breathe? You all right? Of course you're not. But right now, whatever just happened, we can't do anything about it. All we can do is fortify, press on. Uh, Clovis gives a sort of wild-eyed like pass over the group. Oh, I'm. Uh, I understand. I'm the only person who knows what that was. Hmm. Yes. Whatever it was. I don't care what it was because it is not here anymore. What I care about right now is you not being in a space where you could die. If, I know if you that's... knew what that was. And you understood what it meant that she was able to pull it 
disregarding that it was in him in the first place, that she pulled it out of him and discarded it like it was nothing, you would understand that there's no way that I'm not in danger of dying. There's no way any of us are going to be anywhere, anywhere near here Let me and put not it this be way. in danger of immediate... Let me put it this way. I'm going to shake it. Let me put it this way. You have a choice right now. You can continue to stay here and dwell on that. And the things that are out there are going to come and get you because you're not moving, because you're not responding. Yes, I am... I do not have the context you have, and I can only imagine how horrifying it must have been. But it is gone. You are here. Am I still under the effects of the fear condition? Uh, in that case, I think I need a persuasion check to be convinced. Because yes. just as a check into the headspace out of character, Clovis would currently rather wait here to be killed. Could someone possibly give me the help action, please? Uh, I ain't helping Zier, you, bro. Zero has gone to focus on Mez, yeah, so true. it would be uh, it would be Quedon if that's Quedon. I've been kind of shocked into silence. I don't. Oh, fuck. I, no, I, I only mean, got. Well, a, I mean, I only got a six. Yeah. I don't. I, hey, mean, I think you're on your own. Was, um, this I I I understand the need. I understand that we're in danger, but clearly something groundbreaking has just happened. It, if only for a moment. Two members of our party have just. I know it's bad, but we. You can't just soldier on through everything. We, perhaps, perhaps we put the. Fine. Perhaps we, put the, um, the. The thing. The. Do we need time to think? Do we need time to, to read? Do we need time to. What do you need, right now, Clovis? I know what Boz wants. I know what. I know what Missouri wants. What do you need? I don't know. Nice warm meal. <laughs> City lights. This to be somebody else's problem. Would be nice, wouldn't it? No. So then they would have to deal with this. This is not dealable. What? I've seen it. I've seen it somewhere. It was... It's on the tip of my tongue. Some... Years ago. What, what happened? It happened to the world. That, and that the world gods to couldn't Sorry. stop it. <laughs> if they couldn't, how, perchance, could I? Is it in front of you right now? It has been for quite some time. What is it? Have you heard of Shoatan? The Titan? The Destroyer? Shall I make a, uh, a check on this if I've heard this story? Because I'm not... Roll a history with... check, yeah. Uh, but you can roll with advantage because that is a very, very common story. Um, 21. Yeah, now the good rolls are coming. Yeah, um, you have heard the legend of Shoatan the Tyrant, and how he was able to convince half the world to rebel against the gods, how he is responsible for the death of the Tree of Life, how he is responsible for the schism between the continents, and how he was the one who introduced fear to the realm of Wilderthwaite. Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, I've heard of him. But he's gone, isn't he? Thought so. Apparently not. And if that lady, Elizabeth, is able to just pluck that out of our friend and toss it aside like it's nothing, that's about the clearest indication that could be given to me, personally, that this is something way out of any of our depths. If the literal gods couldn't stop Shoatan short of becoming gods ourselves, and even then, they failed, what chance do we have? I have Shoat spent a lot of my life pondering mortality. Pondering the barrier between life, death, and immortality, and the gods are powerful, yes. We both are a man of faith. But, well, mortals do have many things that the gods do not. And yes, while pure strength, we are insanely outnumbered. I think, well, parts of us must have known that going in. Being immortal makes you never changing. I suppose where I'm going with this is well <laughs> yes it's scary of course it is I suppose I don't know where I'm going with this <laughs> I'm just going to say this. Is Shoatan standing right in front of us right now? Right now? No. Then for the moment, he is a distant problem. Not... I'm, I'm not going to say that that doesn't make the Lady in Black a lot scarier. But we're not going to fight her. We're not going to deal with her. What we need there is a child in danger in the house of Seltradot. That is our objective right now. I'm not saying your fear is invalid. I'm just saying acknowledge it, accept it. The tyrant's not standing in front of you. You saw maybe an echo, a flicker of his power. Scary, yes. But he is not currently reaching for you with a big clawed hand. So, from that metric at least, you're not in danger. Looking largely unconvinced by the, uh, the two arguments... I think uh, Clovis would take a deep breath in, uh, look at Boz, and just stone faced. Do you have orders, Captain? Yes. Give them to me. Keep breathing in and out. We will come back to this, I promise you. Because it is important to know about our enemy. And I'm fairly certain the lady in black has declared herself to be that. Or at the very least, she does not regard us favorably. But right now, let's focus on what's in front of us. And what's in front of us are the Seltradots. Lead the way. Okay. So, um, 
simultaneously to this scene, we're going to swap scenes. Uh, Zir, you catch up to Mez because Mez is bumbling in the dark. And he didn't get far. And even though you can't see in the dark either, he did get far. Um. Yes. Yes. You, you need you need your armor on. I can't breathe in it. I'll be, I'll do better without it. It's okay. Well. In the absence of what's comfortable, you do what you know. Um. Uh, I don't. I don't really know what to say, but I'm here. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, we should uh, we should move forward, and we have a little girl that needs us. And I, I don't. It, it, what happened to you just now was kind of a big deal. I mean, I think that's. <sighs> You have no idea. What they're talking about over there. Yeah. I don't. I Only you know, and you're obviously having... I that. now know. I now know. I didn't before. But we have a job to do. And that job's not going to get any easier. And I can sit down, and I can... You know, rub my arms and rub my chest and warm up and feel good about myself. But at the end of the day, that's not going to change what I am, who I am, what we are, and what we're supposed to do. So it's it's better we go right into the belly of the beast because the longer we wait, somebody's going to get hurt. Yeah, but you you just got hurt. You, you realize that, right? I mean, it's just like you told me, right? I, I'm i not perfect. You're not perfect. You can't yeah. just muscle forward. I mean, that. I, let's, let's take it. I wasn't I mean, hurt. They're taking a moment. Let's take a moment. I wasn't hurt. I was diminished. And I'll find another way to elevate. But I can't do that with my limited ability to see a path that was clear a so, few moments ago by tucking my head, getting group hugs, and going back the way we came. I'm not going to let that bitch think taking a piece of me makes me any less. You should still let Boz lead. You're smarter than that to deny that. If something jumps out, what if he gets hurt? You guys are the best chance against the Siltrodots. I, right now, as long as far as they know, I'm still me. So if so, you guys waste your skills, that diminishes us. Me getting chomped on the ass from something in the woods does not diminish us that much. Mez, you can't see. It's not even about any of that. You just... It, we need someone at the front who can see. and Bob I can see, just not than... well. I can't see like I used to, but I can still see. Probably just as well as any of you. Well, I can't see shit, so... <laughs> I can I can see more than shit less than useful, which is probably the same for all of us. I just can't see clearly like I could before. My I took the armor. I'm able to breathe now. I've centered myself. If you want, I will let Boz walk with me, but I'm not going to take a step back. I'm not letting her win. I understand. I'm okay with that. I thank I you. I think you should. I think you should put the armor back on them. We we spent a lot of 
we all kind of spend a lot of time working on getting armor and stuff. So if one of us just doesn't have armor, I will on, it stuff makes it, it seem kind of silly, huh? <laughs> so I will stuff it into my bag and I'll say, I right now I can't breathe with it on. But I was always faster. Okay. I was always faster without it. Like I said, I can no longer use what's comfortable, so I'm going to use what I know. And before I was able to f throw Mary around and create darkness, I, I was useful. And I didn't need that. How long has it been? When the spores started. Hmm. That's why I still track practice and I train with my chain. I've had this, and I will jingle it a little bit, be like, long before I was able to create darkness. And um, my eyes will, you can't see it, but his eyes are still smoking a little. He's like, some of what I could do was tied to me. It's not tied to what was removed from me. So that's me. I just need to learn how to do things differently. Um, Missouri, yeah. as you guys are talking, and Zir, you see this, but Missouri, you feel it. Uh, you feel a gentle weight. It's not like a cat's weight, but it's something on your shoulder. And Zir, you see a spectral tressum. Still that sphinx cat with the dragon wings, but a spiritual tressum settles itself on Missouri's shoulder. And it says, she only wins if you die, Zura. Mm. I know you don't like it, but you need to let Osric lead, at least by one step. Put your hand on his shoulder and walk one step behind him, but only one step. Because, Mazura, I know you don't care about you. And I know you don't care what these people think. But I care about you, and I don't want you to die. So if you won't listen to Zir, listen to me. I'll listen to you both. Two steps. Thank you. Thanks. I kind of wink <laughs> at Mary. <laughs> Mary. Mary just like, very like, imperious cat, like what I meant to do, just starts licking her yeah. paw and washing her <laughs> ear. <laughs> um. And I will, I with that, I'll call out Bosrek. Yes? You need to take point. Then point I will take. I'll, I'll put my hand on your opposite shoulder and just quietly. Um, like you said, I'm still learning the whole leader thing and getting better at it. But one thing I do know is part of being a leader is knowing when to step back and let someone else lead. But I never wanted to be your guys' leader. That's why I was willing to make myself a target. It's not a choice that you always get to make. Oh, yes, it is. It's just a matter of how I subvert what you guys try to do to make me not. Isn't that leading in a way? No, it's not listening. They're two different things. Mm. And, and he actually, if anybody can see, he actually, for like one of the first times, actually smiles in the group. Lead on, Bosrek. And I will leave, uh, reach my chain back and say, if you want, you guys can hold on to this to, uh, so we all stay together. Zir, has Clovis and Quedon kind of moved up with Bosric to I was just about to join us all. Nice. Uh, Clovis is walking rank and file behind Bosric. Zero will look to you I and think I'll pull up the lead yeah. or the the rear. Zero will look at you as soon as you regroup and <laughs> just kind of like <laughs> get it <laughs> but not say it out loud. I will say one thing when Mary did arrive the smoke around my eyes did get a little bit stronger. Uh, Bosrek, lead us to the fight. 
Does Clovis respond to my my check in? No. Oh. He's he's staring <laughs> he's staring straight at like the back of Bosric's head. <laughs> I turn. Oh. I like slowly heel turn my way to Boz and go. <laughs> Um, if if we good <laughs> if Clovis is that close, even with my dark vision, I'm gonna be able to see him, and I will turn to Zir and go. Is he okay? Uh, uh, are we good? Conversation for another time. And I'm gonna actually, when you put your hand on it, I'm gonna. You're not expendable. You're not. I agree that you You're not. Right. You can argue Don't with worry. me or we can go fight something because I don't know about you, but I'm pissed. We can just argue the whole way there, baby. Onward. That's what I typically do. <laughs> and Boz will start Are, the procession. Wait, question. Are the trees and everything still moving out of our way? Um, no. No. But... There's also nothing attacking. The sound has come back? Yes. Okay. The sound came back when the music came back. Okay. Oh, perfect. Smart. <laughs> so we will push that, on, I guess. <laughs> going forward, that is how I will indicate when you step into Nightmare Land. When the music cuts out, the sound is gone. Smart. I dig Boss that. is making it a point to bare his tusks as he's walking. All right. Can I uh, have like a or attempt to have a small aside conversation with Clovis as we walk? You could, uh, if you'd like, you can have it on the way over, if Clovis will allow it. If not, it can be as you walk. Check in with uh, his player and see what you would prefer. So. Yeah. <laughs> I can talk at you even if you won't respond. If, you'll have to roll a persuasion check for a response, but you can sure. say whatever you want to him. You, I think you, you would all get the impression that he is listening and taking in whatever you're saying, but he's just not. Cool. Yeah, I've had a lot of one-sided conversations before. I'm I'm going to make an attempt, and it's not going to sound pretty at first. Scary stuff. You ever been like... Uh... You ever been neck deep in dead bodies and surrounded by like tears and screams and that was that was pretty scary too. Um uh you ever like you ever go on the run, death threats placed in your head from like every town robbing stealing hiding to survive that that was that was pretty scary too it, warm meals city life all that all, all that um i've never known that uh, ever pretty much uh so like i don't know i i get scary i get fear i do it's like all my life and like i'm surrounded by like scary stuff right now sure yeah but like also this is like I don't know. Uh You'll have to You'll have to tell me what's so great about city life sometime when you're feeling up to it. Cause Scary shit is shit. Scary shit. Scary shit. Scary shit. Scary shit. Do be scary. Um, but like, you know, I'm here behind you and stuff. 
Um, yeah. I don't even know if I want to roll for a response. <laughs> I just wanted to say that at him and continue to fail to conversate, but <laughs> contribute in my own weird way. Um, Love it. Can you roll anyway? I'll, yeah, sure. I will roll. <laughs> Oh. Persuasion. That'll be a... It's a dirty 20. <laughs> I think there's, like... Clovis has been silent pretty much this entire time, and there's a moment of like that hesitation right before important words are said and then it returns to normal silence uh and you hear keep an eye out for the woods hey. i got gotcha. you My eyes are out. Okay. <laughs> um, so you have your little aside. Um and yeah. Uh that's pretty much what happens. Uh you walk a little further through the woods and you get to a clearing that is close to Seltradot Manor. Is it, is it uh, within you know, eye shot or? Uh, yeah, you could probably, you can see it now. You can see it in the distance. It's still probably a good two or three hours walk, but you're out of the woods. I'll go ahead and. All right. <sighs> so my plan is I'm going to call out Natasha. And I'm going to fight her to either her death or mine. Which I'm fairly certain is going to attract the attention of her sister and her mother. Zir, we need one good hit on on uh, the madam with that dagger. Can you get it for us? Yeah. Atta go. Give me a vial. I need the first for my fight with Natasha. That's fine. I'll coat my sensor in it and I'll bash one of them in the face. <clears throat> Good call. Does, does anyone else want one? We only have three. I've got the dagger, so... And I will, I'll will. i take it out and I'll offer it towards Clovis and Quedon. Do either of you think this is going to be beneficial to you? Uh, Clovis just looks to Boz. Ignoring me, are you? No. It, you you read in his expression that he's asking Boz a question. Um, you will notice he's not fully, completely aware of everything at the moment. <laughs> so yeah. you're yeah. looking. Zier, you're Zier looking. Really see your expression. To be fair, Sampus. Yeah. Yeah. Zir Zir answered and said <laughs> and said no. That's not what's happening. <laughs> hey, old stuff. Uh, I think I think Boz would would see though since he can see in the dark. Clovis is looking at you, expecting you to make the decision for him. Hold off, hold off on the second one. You two, I need you on support. You have the magic. You have the divine power. Well, so. you have the touch. Um, <laughs> and I will say that's what I just did is like, well, you know, he's off to, I'm, I'm off to the side now. Once he ignored me, once Clovis in, in Mez's interpretation was like, just ignored him. He stepped off to the side. And so while Boz is going, 
you guys are going to support. You have the magic. You have all this stuff. He's just... Let's hold yeah. on to that. Hold on to that. You'll you'll get better use out of it than they will. And he does just that with it. He kind of rolls it and then's like, very well. Cheeky. And like, if, if, if Zir sees that, he'll look and be like, I wasn't entirely unlike you before I got my gifts. Oh, I assumed. <clears throat> Austin, you were going to say something, yeah? Mm -hmm. About cold? I just, I think I just said the word cold. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just, yeah. I wanted to make sure you didn't lose your thought. No. Well, okay. yes, but that was intentional. <laughs> okay, cool. Great. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> we lost him. He's gone. <laughs> so. To the floor with you. I think it's time to start. You're fun, Buzz. Now, there is a chance that she will simply laugh in my face for a challenge and both she and her sister and possibly her mother will come after us, in which case all bets are off and fire away. But if she does honor the challenge, wait till, I, till I've either one of... Either she kills me, in which case, depending on how hard she hits me, I'll either be down for the count or I can pop back up, at which case, well, then all bets are off. If she's about her? to kill you, I'll put my chain around her neck. No. If she kills me, she kills me. I'm an orc. I can take a, a hit down and come back. So long as it's not too hard of a hit. Very well. I will allow her to attempt. Once I'm down and come back up, then all bets are off. Um, if I can, and if she hits me that hard again, all bets are off. But I need to do this. I'll do my best to make sure that doesn't happen. <clears throat> Real quick, um, how do we make sure this doesn't turn into like a hostage situation? Or Dimitri's sister get hurt? What is what is her name? Do we know her name? As I recall, you met her, didn't you? I never got her name. We briefly talked to her when we were in that yeah. initial line, but yeah. I don't think a name was ever um, said. Sadly, this time... For true heroes. Sadly, this time, um, it could turn into a hostage situation. If you have a chance, free the girl. Uh, how do we make sure she's not hurt? Let her drop. We'll pick her up at the end if we have to. This is one time when I'm going to say I'm not. I'm not willing to let anything get in the way. And that's I'm, on me. I'm, if you allow it to happen, blame it on me. I meant what I said back at the tavern. This is the day that has Seltra burns. We go all out. If we can, I want to get the kid out of there. But we this we need to finish this. If they kill her, it's one child gone. If we kill them, not another one will never be taken, at least by them. She might come back. It's a risk it's a risk we have to take. They may come back, they may not. We'll figure it out. But we're going to war. Yeah, how do we how do we make sure they don't come back? We do, we that's not within our power. Let's make that's sure they're now. dead. And let whatever gods you hold most dear decide the rest. Let's focus on killing him first. Oh. And I'll go ahead and ready my sword. And are we close enough to to the manor? Uh, I think we're three hours. Three hours, hours walk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, no, then I won't just yet. But all right, let's move out. I think we should start moving with some haste. Is this more of a clearing where we can get a little bit of moonlight? This is where you set up your um citadel last time so this was this is a little a more open area mm. okay so then if uh Bosrek says let's go i'm actually gonna start moving like a normal run um but i am moving very fast i'm uh ahead of pretty i'd be ahead of you a bit until i realize you're not moving the same speed as me 
I'm going to let him put some, to put some speed on it and start running. Um, okay, so what's the what's the uh, the the running speed of everybody? Thirty. Thirty. You will notice that Missouri is outpacing most of you. Who is? He uh, might not outpace Zier. I but... move. I move forty. Okay, then you are outpacing Zier. Oh, <laughs> look at you! I'm very very speedy. <laughs> I'm, nice. I'm I'm forty five. You are I'm speed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cedar's, Cedar's get an extra foot. What? Or hell? extra five. Oh, okay. So, so you're, you're thirty five. You're thirty five then. Oh no, Rogue. She gets ten, doesn't she? For Rogue. No. No, so you're Rogue's thirty-five. Extra ten feet of movement. So yeah, that's what I said. Oh no, you said forty-five. Um, you said 45. Oh no, that's, that's why I was like, "Holy crap!" Um, so no, yeah, I'm 35. just I'm just yeah. outpacing Zier at a run. I'm outpacing Zier. Very good. You notice though that when Missouri runs, Zier, you would you would clock this just as somebody who got very good at clocking people. He's not running like a normal person, where it's like heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. He's just on the balls of his feet. Just. Fascinating. Mental note taken. Granted, I don't know if. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think I think Zir would notice it, but she wouldn't be able to gather any kind of conclusion from it because. Yeah, you she wouldn't really hooves. clock anything from it. It's just <laughs> she went. It's huh. just weird. It'd probably be more of a the hell. I don't. I oh, don't he's know right. how... it, It'd probably be like, oh, he's running like me. I don't know how feet work. That's odd. Look <laughs> at him with his toes. Look at him with his feet. With his weird ass toes. <laughs> These feet havers. So we would just start running. Cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Um, you are able to, uh, at a run, um, running that long, you are, I'm going to need you all to make a constitution check to see if you exhaust yourselves. Nice. But, um, it's an eight or save. Save. Um, 16. The natural 20. Okay. 15. Okay. 14. All right. You guys are all fine. Heck Yeah. We know you how are to fueled run. by we anger. We know how to run. Just really. before we get there, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop and get my sword set up before actually approaching. Okay. I don't think we draw this out, guys. I think we get in there and we just put it on the table and start beating the shit out of someone. Allow me then. And I'm going to actually. Are we Are we within range of it? Where we ran there, yeah. I guess. We're yeah. There. So we're so we're now here. Uh, Dreadmaster? Okay. Then Boz is actually sword still in sheath so as to conceal the... But he's actually going to walk out and go, you know, Achilles at Troy. Natasha! Mm -hmm. I got two silver. Says this goes real poorly. It's talking to uh, Zir on the call out, yeah. And wait a minute. Natasha. Um, and after a few minutes, you hear, uh, kind of like the sound of an exhale of breath and, uh, a cloud um, of red mist kind of question. Um, Mary can see invisibility. Is she coming in invisible? No. Okay. Um, a cloud of red mist sort of pushes through the cracks of the door and, um, Natasha materializes in front of you. You don't have to be so loud, darling, if you want my attention. You started something you didn't finish. Would you like to dance? I do so love dancing. And as she says this, she drops her hand to her side and shoop, shoop. There's a pair of um, sickles in her hands. Shall we? She looks over um, your shoulder at the rest of the party. Don't mind One them. One partner, please. Don't mind them. This is between you and me. I agree. All right. That is a great place to wrap up for this week. <laughs> I want to. I want to say one detail that's important, real quick, before we wrap. Okay. Um, whenever Mez leaned to. Uh, 
<laughs> Zier jokingly about the about the two silver thing. Uh, you notice Zier's hand goes to yours, and she's shaking. Yeah. And she puts the dagger in your hand and says, I can't do it. And then uh, I'll just shake back and be like, I have no problem. Okay. And so I, I will... Love to hate you guys. Can I do a sleight of hand and see if I can hide the dagger? Uh, yeah, go for it. Let me see what I have. I can sleight of hand too if that's important. Well, uh, it's going to be a twenty-four on the sleight of hand. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're able to uh, kind of just stow the dagger in your sleep. And then uh, I guess we uh, we watch the uh, challenge. Yeah, and imme- yeah. immediately after you have the dagger, she like stops her anxiety, shaking, and subsides. Boz has his hand on his sword, and he's just waiting. Okay. Ladies well, first. Then we're still going to go ahead and end the session there. Okay. But thank you all very much for tuning in this week. We will see you next week for perhaps Seltradot Mansion burning, perhaps the death of our party, and to definitely figure out what the hell is going on with Missouri Cabras. <laughs> <laughs>